Okay, I am back from the post office. I picked up lunch. Not that anyone needed to know, but I thought it would be interesting to show you, um, like me buying supplies for the week because today is Tuesday, um, and every Tuesday I get my Etsy deposit, which means I can buy the supplies I need and this week I actually need quite a bit of different stuff for different things and I can talk to you in depth about those things as I do them so let's you know let's make some business purchases I just thought this would be interesting because it's something I do but I don't ever talk about it like how I just like what I buy you know okay so my first stop is here this is my friend Ava, this is her GoFundMe. Every, at the end of every month, I donate a portion of, um, I donate 15% of each Harry Potter candle I make. Basically it's because JK Rowling is a turf, and so I'm redirecting some of those funds to queer people. This is my friend Ava. Um, and this is their GoFundMe to help them get a car and safe housing, um, and, so in October, it was $56. Goal is $1,500. We are almost to $400. Dang, I didn't know that. I should have freaking done a dollar so it would be $400 even. I'm dumb. Uh, anyways, I will link Ava's GoFundMe down below. Feel free and please consider donating anything. It would be very appreciated. Next, I need to order jars which is a huge thing. I'm trying to decide if I want to order six cases or seven. So I buy all my jars from Fillmore Container. I order seven cases of 24. Each case comes with 24 jars. So I'm ordering seven cases, which is, I don't know how much, but that's what I'm doing. Next, I need to buy wax. I usually buy my wax from Fillmore Container, but I've noticed that it's a little bit expensive. Their shipping sometimes takes a little longer, all this, so I've been buying from a few different places. I brought, I bought from Aztec Soap Supply Company, maybe that's what they're called. They were great, they delivered so fast. I talked about that in my last vlog. 10 out of 10, would recommend. But I'm gonna try buying from Candle Science because I love Candle Science. Uh, their shipping's, oh, <laughs> their shipping's always super fast and I have to buy. I have to buy fragrance oil anyway. This is the sample I picked out. Cake. I'm interested in this. I bought a cake scent from Nature's Garden and it smelled so bad. It smells like yeast. It is disgusting. And also their um, tart, well, their wax melt, soy wax, is so much cheaper than where I usually get it. This is 10 pounds for 18 bucks. The other place I buy it from, it's 5 pounds for 19 bucks. Uh, so it looks like I was getting scammed. So. <laughs> Uh, excuse me so yeah looks like that we've got 93 plus 66 shipping kind of crazy pricing not gonna lie anyways let me just order it okay next I need to make a fragrance oil order as you can see 
Um, these are for Christmas candles. Or <clears throat> these two are for Zodiac candles. And then this is also one of the holiday candles. I'm going to actually edit this really quick and see if I can get a bigger size of this. It was out of stock when I made this, uh, when I made my cart, so that's good that it's back in stock. So that's my second order, just a little fragrance oil thing. It's so cold in my room. It's just so cold in general, it's really becoming winter. Speaking of which, now that I'm done shopping, I've got some winter candles to make. You see the inside of that? I'm making some mug candles which i'm so excited about hot chocolate egg oh my face was not in there i'm sorry hot uh, hot chocolate breath hot chocolate eggnog and peppermint hot chocolate are the different scents i'm gonna make one of each in a mug and then i'm gonna do two two of each in a jar but i also have to make so we've got the holiday drinks i need to make x files candles and then i have a set of three three custom candles to make as well which is actually in this pot right now the first one it's melted so i'll start with my custom candles i'm gonna do like time lapses and voiceovers of me creating these candles because i don't feel like talking so this girl rachel reached out to me to create three customs based on her original characters and i thought that was such a cool idea to like have these physical um reminders or representations of what these um original created characters would smell like i just really loved it and i wanted to include it in this vlog because i love making customs and this was a really special one something kind of unlike anything i've ever been requested to do before it was great truly so enjoy just cut up a bunch of cards um for weekend orders hopefully this will last me in the next week um but even if this is more than enough i'm gonna need these for black friday which is in like two weeks and taking pictures of the new release candles so like umbrella academy six of crows they're, they're all over there because i finished those ones and then these ones are the caravel ones those are coming out tomorrow oh also i shaved my head i'm bald now just thought i would throw that in um oh. also my bamboo plant it needs new water it's full of water but i think the water i used has too much chlorine because parts of it are turning yellow pack some orders take pictures and then i need to make wax melts for tomorrow i'm gonna do holiday wax melts but i also want to do just some like regular scents so like lavender that's as far as i've gotten for my brainstorming about uh regular scents but you'll see when you see and i'll see you later <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so what you're going to see in these like next clips is me basically cutting a redesign of a bunch of labels, specifically on the Harry Potter candles. This is because I got an email from Etsy about like copyright infringement that was like, hey, if we get another warning of this, we're gonna shut down your shop. So fuck you. And I was like, oh shit. Like basically I just didn't realize how serious copyright was and I didn't even like realize what was copyright, I guess. Like bitch, I'm just making candles. I don't give a fuck about all this other stuff. So pretty much I had to change uh, a bunch of labels to avoid, you know, getting my shop shut down. So that's epic. I'm super excited, super freaking happy about that so as a result i'm actually going to work on opening my own website um because like i don't want my etsy to get shut down and then me have nothing so epic uh more on that in the coming vlogs i guess to get a bunch of orders out last night my sister uh one of my sisters packed 16 orders for me which was so helpful um so i'm gonna finish up some other orders this morning but i can't actually take any of the orders um until i get some crinkle paper because i ran out and i need to order more tomorrow so i won't have it in time for these orders so i need to go to a store to get some and so I thought that while I'm out at a store, I might as well, I might as well also, um, find a wax seal stamp for a whole thing that will be a different vlog. Yesterday, new business cards came, and I love them. They look so much nicer than the old ones. I don't think I have any of the old ones to show, and I don't know, um, I might have to, like, put in different, like, footage but they have space on the back where I can write a message instead of having to print um, cards. So that's really helpful. Yeah, but before I go out to the store, also it's freaking raining, but before I go out to the store, I'm going to like prep the rest of the orders and print labels for all of my rep packages and then I'm gonna make some more wax melts and then finish all the wax melts and hopefully take pictures today that's all I'm planning on doing let's get started on this magical Monday fucking morning <laughs> Oh my gosh i'm back um i got two bags of crinkle paper i finished one and the other ones are like um three-fourths of the way gone maybe half already just doing the 16 orders so that's not great but i picked up some wax seal stuff sorry my bananas right there i'm so excited to try this out so this one is <clears throat> letters i don't honestly know why i got letters uh actually yes i do Anyways, then I got a thank you one. I was going to get a heart one because I thought that would be cute for gifts. But um, I can also do like the first letter of someone's name. And I obviously want pink, but they don't have pink. So I got gold and silver and that'll be fine for now. I'll just order some prettier wax. So this candle, Prom Night, it's inspired by Carrie. I love this candle. It's like so freaking good. And do a little gift wrap moment on this because it's going to someone and her name is Kayla with a C. So let's wrap this and seal it with wax. But I just want to step up my packaging in some areas. Gift wrap especially. 
I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Literally. This part is actually hard. I hate doing this. And then we'll seal it on top. I'm so excited. I keep saying that. Here's our handle. Cute. Gold. Amazing. And we just screw it into the seal letter that we're using. Oh my gosh. The way it drips is so cool. <gasps> it is. Too bad that's not scented. Okay. <gasps> oh my gosh. That's freaking adorable. Get the F. I'm gonna do... I need to do wax melts. <laughs>